This is Radio Nepal. I'm Gaushal Kimide with the news. The headlines first. Prime Minister Shah Badudeva says government has prioritized employment generation in the country. House of Representatives endorses prison management bill. Six people die in a bus accident at Ribdikot of Palpa district. Three killed in an accident in Bhaktapur. And Russia denies claims of causing global food crisis. Now the news in detail. Prime Minister Shabata Dewa has urged the industrialists to run agriculture and mine-based industries in the country. Addressing the annual General Assembly of the Confederation of Nepalese Industry in Kathmandu yesterday, Prime Minister Dewa stressed the need for utilizing domestic raw materials by the industries to create employment and increase economic activities. The Prime Minister also urged the industrialists and the entrepreneurs to invest in the sectors that would provide long-term benefits. Prime Minister Dewa further said the government was working to make policy level and legal reforms to ensure an investment-friendly environment for the private sector. Six people were killed and 16 others were injured in a bus accident at Ribdikot of Palpa district yesterday evening. The ill-fated bus, which fell about 50 metres off the road, was heading to Butwal from Baglung. The police have confirmed six de- deaths. The injured are said to have been taken to Tansen for treatment. Meanwhile, three people died on the spot, while 12 others were injured when a bus and a scooter were hit by a falling tree at Salagari of Bhaktapur yesterday afternoon. The Bhaktapur police said the vehicles were in motion when they were hit by the tree. As per the police update, the bus that met with the accident was heading to Dutpati from Kathmandu and the two-wheeler was en route to Salakari from Dutpati. Among the dead, two were passengers of the bus and one was travelling on a scooter. Meanwhile, Minister for Home Affairs Balkrishna Khan has expressed his concerns in assisting medical treatment to those injured in road accidents in Palpa and Bhaktapur districts. Talking to the chief district officers and chiefs of security agencies in those districts over telephone yesterday, Minister Khan instructed the officials to make the treatment of the injured effective. Khan also asked the officials to appraise the ministry if any assistance was needed to take the injured to the hospital. The House of Representatives has unanimously passed the Prison Management Bill 2019. Home Minister Balkrishna Khan presented a proposal seeking the passage of the bill received from the State Affairs and Good Governance Committee along with the report. Likewise, Education and Health Committee President Jaipuri Karti presented the committee's report related to the Ayurveda University Bill. Meanwhile, lawmakers in the House of Representatives have expressed their concerns over various contemporary issues. Speaking in the special hour in the meeting of the House of Representatives yesterday, Lawmaker Dr. Dila Sangrola Panta urged the government to issue a white paper on the efforts made by Nepal to tackle the COVID-19 pandemic. Lawmaker Pimbadu Raul drew the attention of the government to immediately send a letter to the U.S. government that Nepal would not be a part of the State Partnership Program, SPP. National Assembly Chairman Ganesh Prasad Timalsina has stressed the need for ending the compulsion of seeking treatment in foreign countries. Addressing a program jointly organized by the National Concern and Coordination Committee and the Health Ministry in Lalitpur yesterday, Chairman Timalsina said all the stakeholders should work for ensuring affordable quality health services in Nepal. Also speaking at the program, CPN Maui Center leader Narin Gaji Shrestha stated that every citizen's access to health service should be guaranteed. The government has unveiled Tourism Sector Revival Work Plan 2022. The Culture, Tourism and Civil Aviation Ministry unveiled the work plan amid a program at the ministry yesterday. Unveiling the work plan, Culture, Tourism and Civil Aviation Minister Jibun Ram Swester said the plan had been unveiled to revive the tourism sector that has been hit hard by the COVID-19 pandemic. Minister Swester claimed that the 73-point long-term and short-term plans were formulated defining the roles of each stakeholder. 
He also said、uh, Nepal has the potential to be a global tourism destination, and the government had been planning to lead a campaign to promote the tourism sector in the country. The Election Commission has started to review the polling stations and booths considering the upcoming federal and provincial elections. Spokesperson of the Commission, Saligram Sharma Powdle, said the meeting of the polling centre and booth determination and coordination committee held yesterday decided to write concerned stakeholders for necessary support. He further said the committee requested the stakeholders to decide the polling centres considering convenience for all. The meeting also decided to urge the political parties to coordinate the district election commission offices for providing assistance. The commission is taking steps to review polling centres and booths till the 23rd of August. Minister for Energy Pampa Busal has said women should still wage struggle to acquire their rights. Releasing a fiction chori daughter written by student leader Manisha Chare yesterday, Minister Busal argued that the fight to implement the legal rights ensured to the women was still not over. She stated that though women's right to property was achieved legally, it was still not fully implemented. On the occasion, Minister Busal recalled her student, her stories rather of defiance from her student life to political career. Sibal Amsal has been elected the chairperson of the press union. As per the results of the voting held under the Ninth General Convention of Press Union, Lamsal won the chairman's post with 745 votes, while his nearest competitor, Anita Bindu, got 612 votes. Another aspirant, Bhuban Potta, got only 19 votes. The Ministry of Health and Population reported 347 new cases of COVID-19 in Nepal yesterday. According to the ministry, the cases were confirmed after undergoing test of、uh, 3,888 samples. The total number of active cases now stands at 3,177 across the country. Meanwhile, 95 people recovered from the virus infection yesterday. The health ministry also recorded two additional corona-related deaths yesterday. You're listening to Radio Nepal's ATM English News Bulletin. On to some international updates. Russia's Foreign Minister Sergey Lavrov has dismissed claims that Moscow caused the global food crisis. In a speech to Arab League ambassadors in Cairo of Egypt, he said Western nations were distorting the truth about the impact of sanctions on global food security. He accused Western nations of trying to impose their dominance over others. Much of the Arab and、uh, Africa is、uh, badly affected by grain shortages caused by Russia's war in Ukraine. Ukraine's president Vladimir Zelensky says his forces are advancing step by step into the occupied southern region of Kherson. Kherson city fell to Russian early in the war and sits on a strategic location west of the Dnipro River. On Saturday, UK defense officials reported heavy fighting near Kherson. Now the general weather forecast for the country for today. According to the meteorological forecasting division, the weather is likely to be partly to generally cloudy throughout the country. Light to moderate rain with thunder and lightning is likely to occur at some places of hilly regions of the country and at a few places of the rest of the country. Kathmandu's weather report. For the past 24 hours, the maximum temperature was 29.5 degrees Celsius, and the minimum temperature was 20 degrees Celsius. Well, that's all the news we have for this bulletin. But before wrapping up, the headlines once again. Prime Minister Shahbaz Adewa says government has prioritized employment generation in the country. House of Representatives endorses prison management bill. Six people die in a bus accident at Ribdikot of Palpa district. Three killed in an accident in Bhaktapur. And Russia denies claims of causing global food crisis. Well, that's all the news we have for this bulletin. Our next bulletin in English will be at two in the afternoon. You can also listen to us online at our website www.onlineradionepal.gov.np. Keep listening to Radio Nepal and have a good day.